um, this, this is a test of the brand new Pro Watercraft, you know, specifically for the Kawasaki 750 SXI Pro, which is what we have here. This is a set of their hull extensions. Um, the hull extensions are marketed to eliminate um, effect of porpoising, which is a known fact on these SXIs. Honestly, that's my big complaint on this SXI. Um, I've put a lot of work into it, and the damn, damn thing just porpoises. Um, it prevents you from getting top speed, so I'm really hoping that that's fixed today. Um, as you can see, there's, there's nobody here. So I'm just gonna leave the truck here. Um, the exhaust is out of the water and everything, and it's really just a little bit in. So um, we're just gonna send that and see what how we uh, how we work make out. Uh, I did put these hull extensions on last night. It hasn't been a full 24 hours for the silicone to dry, but it's been 20. So we're gonna call that good. Um, and I don't know how much GoPro battery. I mean, they got like 20% GoPro battery and not much on the, the chip left, but uh, today is a full send. I really just want, I'm anxious and I'm running out of cold, out of warm days. Right now the temperature, it's like 65 degrees right now. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little chilly. Hopefully we don't fall. That's the plan at least. But I wanna try this out and I got nobody here to watch. So I gotta be careful as well. But if you can see, there's the hull extensions. And I also have their ride plate on. I put the ride plate on last year and the ride plate helped out a lot. But um, these hull extensions, I'm really hoping do the trick. Now I probably would have been out here a half hour or so before than I am right now. We're really coming on dusk. So this is really getting a little, a little ballsy. But um, this thing had a ground issue for whatever the reason. It did not want to start. Or started once and because it was cold and needed a second start and then um yeah the uh the damn thing just wanted to have a ground issue so we had to pull it pull it apart and we but we figured it out so we're all good now so let's give it a go Thank you. 
out in these. That's cool.
You guys need me to move? Water intrusion. I don't know why it's bogging a little bit on the low end, but I mean, it seems to be running all right. It still scares me when we fall.
Alright, so that was a pretty much, um, that was a success. Um, you know, be able to get out here for a little bit. There was that problem that I had upon leaving the house. Um, you always do a test start on the jet ski before you leave the house, just because you never know. And it started up but because it was cold and needed another start. And when I went to go give it that other start, um, they, I was having essentially, long story short, issues with the ground. So um, we sanded off the ground, reattached it, um, and it worked fine. So I ended up scooting out here to the lake real quick. Um, as you can see, it's it's pretty much dark, <laughs> and it's uh, October 16th, so um, pretty late in the year. <laughs> it, it's right now my watch is at 63 degrees outside. Um, I don't know what the water temp is. Thank God for the wetsuit. Um, that's the only way I would have been able to make it out here. So uh, all in all, those hull extensions they do work pretty good. I will say that. Um, it honestly felt a lot more stable in the rear end felt almost like this the rear end was on rails to a certain point um you could lean over a lot farther for days um when it comes to doing water wheelies i mean my i was literally like on my tippy toes on the way back on the, all the way back on the board um and pulling back as hard as i could and i could barely get that thing 12 o'clock which kind of stinks because i really was a wheelie jet ski boy i love doing that stuff um but it's it's all in the technique now so um as for the actual porpoising uh i'm happy i'm happy and unhappy um i will say that the porpoising has subsided for a little bit uh but it's still there uh, i'm still chasing top speed on the jet ski um i've been told been told reportedly that an sxi pro when set up correctly can hit mid 40s upper 40s um, I would love to obtain that speed mainly because all my buddies with the super jets, that's how fast they're going. So I would love to get that kind of speed out of it. But at the end of the day, it's a 1998. So it's competing a hell of a lot better than it was prior to me getting it. So, um, we're going to call that a win. Um, right now I think it previously was porpoising at about 25 miles an hour. Now it's porpoising at about 35 miles an hour. So it's better. Like I said, but there's room for improvement. So we'll keep chasing it. Um, I have heard from a couple of my friends that changing the intake rate, and I know that the intake rate will definitely uh, change things, but I heard changing it to a top loader would potentially alleviate some of those issues on the top end. Um, it's definitely a hell of a lot better. I will say putting the new reeds in, the V-Force reeds in there, uh, doing the hull extensions, like the stuff that I have done this year, even something as simple as um, the saltwater plugs that I, those uh, MSD spark plug boots, the saltwater kit that I put on there recently over the weekend with the hull extensions, even that, like you, it feels, the electricity feels a lot more crisp. I'm gonna hawk that all up as a win. Um, you boys very happy, but there's still room for improvement. So we're going to sign off. Uh, probably going to be the last ride of the season on the jet ski, but, um, you know, we'll see. I would love to get more in depth with videos. I love to get more, uh, dirt bike content and snowmobile content. Um, there's going to be some more life content coming. Uh, there is some big news on that end, but we'll save that for another day. And, um, for now, this is Brian and I'll talk to you later. See you.